Okay guys, so now that we have uh, this curve control ready to go with its attributes in place, we can start to uh, connect some of this stuff up. So the first thing we want to do is have the actual foot move with the curve. Now we can just parent those together, but a bit of a cleaner way is to use a parent constraint. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to select the curve control first, shift select the actual joint, the heel joint, uh, as you can see here, so curve control first and then the joint, and then we're going to create a parent constraint. Bring that over. Make sure the maintain offset is ticked on. We can cl click add, and now when we select this uh, curve control here, you'll see that the heel will move with it, and along with, so we'll turn the geo layer off, but we can see it's just moving with it now, and along with uh, the rig will now move as we kind of expect it. We can roll that, just sort of pivoting from there, rotate it to do the tapping foot. All that's kind of working in now because our heel control has been constrained. What's it been constrained to? It's been constrained to foot control left there. Okay, great. So now that that's happening, we simply have to uh, hook up our ball rotation and our toe rotation. So how do we do that? We do that through the connection editor. So we go modify, oh sorry, so we go up to our window, general editors, connection editor. Now just make sure, let me move this over here, just make sure that we have our uh, curve selected first and then you can go reload left. So we want to go up the top here and make sure we've got our foot control uh, loaded on the left hand side. And we can come right down the bottom here, we see our two last attributes there, our user created attributes. Click on ball rotation. And so we want that ball rotation to really affect this. So this up and down, this ball rotation that's going on here. What are we rotating there? Well, we're rotating the Y axis, you can kind of see it there. When I undo it. So let's reload that guy, which is the ball uh, reverse foot left joint. And we're going to come right all the way down here, somewhere in the middle, and you'll find, we just got to find the rotate, it's a bit tricky to find, <coughs> and we're going to go rotate Y, so click on that one, then click on rotate Y, and you notice that turns yellow, which is exactly what we want. We can come back to our foot control, and now by middle click dragging this ball rotation, we suddenly have a nice ability on one control to rotate that foot up. Okay, so... Next thing we do it for the toe as well, so we just simply select the toe joint. That's the one, again, we're using Y. Reload it in the right, so make sure that we've got the toe RFL selected for the second one. Go down about halfway down, rotate. Now we have to click on toe rotate in this column because we want to be in toe. And the Y of the toe, of the toe RF, we're clicking on the Y. That turns yellow, means it's hooked up. Let's give it a go. And nice, we can see that our toe is pivoting from the front. So that's uh, that's it, that's that toe. The control is fully set up now with the simple controls. You'll notice in the advanced version we have a, a few more options. One in particular is to bend the toe, which is really needed by the, the animators. But in this simple version, you get a bit of an idea about how this is working without all the complexity. Um, it's just nice and simple setting that up. We've got a good ball rotation group and we've also got a nice toe one that looks like it's breaking there but we've just rotated a bit too far so that's kind of how that works there